హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ లైఫ్ సైన్స్ విత్ కేఎండి టుడే ఐమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ రీకరెంట్ సెలెక్షన్ నో వాట్ ఈస్ రీకరెంట్ సెలెక్షన్ రీకరెంట్ సెలెక్షన్ ఈజ్ డిఫైన్డ్ యాజ్ రీసెలెక్షన్ జనరేషన్ ఆఫ్టర్ జనరేషన్ విత్ ఇంటర్మేటింగ్ ఆఫ్ సెలెక్టెడ్ ప్లాంట్ to produce the population for the next cycle of selection the idea of this method was to ensure the isolation of superior inbreeds from the population subjected to recurrent selection isolation of outstanding inbreed line depend on two factor the proportion of superior genotypes present in the base population from which the line isolated the effectiveness of the selection during the inbreeding of the desirable genes so these are all two important uh, factors types of recurrent selection simple recurrent selection which is also called as srs next is recurrent selection for general combining ability which is represented as rs gca then third one is recurrent selection for specific combining ability which is also represented as rss ca then reciprocal recurrent selection which is represented as rrs simple recurrent selection a type of recurrent selection that does not include tester is referred to as simple recurrent selection it is also known as phenotypic recurrent selection now this is the procedure of uh, simple recurrent selection in the first year the plant with desirable character are selected and self pollinated in the second year separate progeny rows are grown from self seed of selected plant the progenies are intercrossed in all possible combination by hand equal amount of seeds from each cross is composited to produce the next generation in the third year bulk seeds are grown and superior plants are selected and selfed like first year then a uh, fourth year in the fourth year the progeny of the selected plants are grown from self seed and intermating is done like first year now crossed seeds is composited in equal quantity for the use in next cycle of selection this complete first cycle of recurrent selection selection may be repeated till the desirable character is achieved recurrent selection for general combining ability the importance of general combining ability of the population for a character and heterozygous tester it is also known as half sub recurrent selection now in the first year the selected plants are crossed with the heterozygous tester having broad genetic base seeds are kept and uh, kept storage in the second year the crossed seeds is sown and the combining ability selected plant is evaluated and uh, plants with good combining ability are identified in the third year the progeny of selected plant with good combining ability are grown from their self seed kept in cold storage the progeny are intermated in all possible combination and their crossed seed is composited to form new source of population for further selection third one is recurrent selection for specific combining ability here this was proposed now this method is proposed by hohul in the, in the year 1945 a form of recurrent selection that is used 
to improve the specific combining ability of population for a character by using homozygous tester is referred to as recurrent selection specific combining ability it is also known as half site recurrent selection the selection procedure is similar to that of recurrent selection general combining ability except that the tester is an inbreed line which has a narrow genetic base whereas in case of uh, general combining ability there they used to use um, heterozygous tester so it will be having a broad genetic base that is the tester used must be an outstanding inbreed in case of specific combining ability the tester used must be an outstanding inbreed and uh, difference the difference in this specific combining ability so this is the difference between the general combining ability and specific combining ability now comparison between general combining ability and uh, a uh, specific combining ability here uh, application is same because both are used to improve the polygenic trait and in case of uh, basis of selection both are uh, done by test cross performance and then tester used in case of general combining ability is heterozygous whereas in case of specific combining ability homozygous tester is used and uh, effectiveness uh mainly in case of um, uh general combining ability it is incomplete dominance has been seen whereas in case of uh, specific combining ability complete and over dominance has been observed condition of use it is um, used when the additive gene action is impo important and then in case of non additive gene action is im important and then impact is improved uh, general combining character uh, whereas in case of uh, specific combining ability there will be improvement in the generic uh, specific combining ability characters reciprocal recurrent selection a form of recurrent selection used to improve both general combining ability and uh, specific combining ability of a population for the desirable character using two heterozygous uh, test is known as reciprocal recurrent selection it is also known as recurrent reciprocal half sub selection main feature used for improvement of polygenic character selection is based on the test cross performance two heterozygous test are used as a source of population merits of recurrent selection it is an efficient breeding method for increasing the frequency of superior genes for their various economic characters it helps in maintaining high genetic variability due to repeated intermating of heterozygous population demerits of recurrent selection it is not directly used for the development of new variety this method involve involves lot of selection crossing and selfing work thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you